as people get older, their capacity for jumping totally into their experiences tends to wane, and they start to live one step removed from the core of life by following an established set of unchanging ideas instead of living the experience of their process. One place I've noticed this is in some singer-songwriters as they age. Sometimes their voices improve, but oftentimes their lyrics don't come from their subconscious anymore, like they've lost the capacity to enter into the stream of their deeper experiences. The lyrics don't sound or feel like dreams anymore. They sound like someone thinking about something in a more literal way. What was once an excursion into the shadows of life, the exposing of hidden truths, shifts to the already known conscious plane of awareness. The words sound like someone just having normal thoughts and making them rhyme. (laughs) Whereas they used to create transformative dreamscapes with poetic power. The essence of youth The spirit in us that makes us try new things because that's how to experience life is something we should aim to never lose. If we lose it, we lose vital contact with the real fuel and fire of our lives. Our bodies get older, but I don't think this is why older folks get ill. It's because they've lost contact with their dreaming, their subconscious, and their capacity to make these experiences conscious. The body demands consciousness. It's not just a physical machine. It's a somatic manifestation of your life story in every moment. You're the metabolic expression of everything you experience. This is why it's so important to begin working on yourself as young as possible, because later on, Your unprocessed experiences will catch up with you, guaranteed. I mean, you can always start, but I'm saying start now. I use the example of songwriting because a lot of my life's learning has come from music. If I have any wisdom at all, and I'm not sure I do, (laughs) I'd have to attribute it to two things, processing and rock and roll. And as strange as it sounds, they're really the same thing. They're just two different ways to bring out the deeper truths hiding in the shadows of our psyches and the dark alleys of the world. After a while of processing a problem, it's no longer what it was when I started. Once I dive in and follow the new perceptions that emerge from my various inner parts, My problem changes as I change. It's not the problem that needs to change. It's me that needs to change. A problem isn't a thing that has nothing to do with me, like I'm just an unlucky passive participant. It's a dynamic process of information that's being communicated to me to wake me up about something. The way I respond, which starts with how I define my problem, is often one part of the problem. The other part is that I'm unaware of my relationship to something going on in me or in my life. And that relationship might be no relationship, like I'm totally asleep about some issue. To process it, I have to access the wisdom, the transformative element behind whatever's bothering me. Well, That's what happens when I write a song or play my guitar or just listen to a great song, which for me is often old blues and rock and roll. These tunes weren't just entertainment like a lot of music is today. They were sermons. Over the years, they've given me an experience of another world I hadn't known. They took the ground out from under me and took me on a journey into everything that's unsaid, unknown, unfelt, disavowed. They scrambled my brain with surrealism and sound. They spoke truth with power of spirit. And when I write a tune, I also journey past my known self into the unknown. 
I never know what's going to happen or what I'm going to uncover. Sometimes I hit a dead end. Other times I touch on a piece of wisdom that helps me in my life. So for me, a problem is music. I know it sounds totally weird, especially since problems suck and music doesn't, but they both aim at the same thing, to bring out what's under the surface, the hidden directions in your life, the healing wisdoms you need. Speaking of accessing your inner wisdom, I wrote a song called Before the Dawn, which talks about the hidden intelligence in your problems, the unseen, unknown transformation and waiting, the sun that shines in the dark before the dawn. I'm going to release the single and the video the first week in January 2021. You can watch the video on my YouTube page and stream the song on Spotify or wherever you listen to music. Here's a sneak preview. See you next time. Stay aware. You can follow me on social media at Dr. Zwig, and you can sign up on the mailing list at drzwig.com, where you'll receive discounts on private coaching, events, and merchandise starting in 2021, weekly personal growth tips, and lots more. Be well. <laughs>